integral of 4 divided by x cubed with respect to x. So the first thing you should do with this question is rewrite the question in its power form. Okay, so take it out of this fraction. So if I do that, it would become the integral of 4x raised to the power of negative 3. Okay, so if I integrate this, remember you're raising the power by 1. So negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So it would become x to the power of negative 2. And then you're dividing this number here, 4, by the new power, which is negative 2. Okay, not forgetting to add your constant c and then simplify. So 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So the final answer is negative 2x raised to the power of negative 2 plus c. Okay. In the next question, we have to find the integral of 9 over x raised to the power of 7 minus 3 divided by x squared, take away 4, with respect to x. Okay, so just like in the first example, I'm going to start by rewriting the question in its power form, so taking these out of their fractional form. Okay, so this can be rewritten as 9x raised to the power of negative 7. This one here can be rewritten as negative 3x raised to the power of negative 2. Okay, so we have to integrate this expression here with respect to x. Okay, so the power here is negative 7. So if I add 1, I get negative 6. So we have x raised to the power of negative 6. And we're dividing the number 9 by the new power. So 9 over negative 6. On to the next term here. If I add 1 to negative 2, I get negative 1. So x to the negative 1. And we're dividing this number, negative 3, by the new power, which is negative 1. Okay? And if you integrate negative 4, you just get negative 4x. Not forgetting to add c. Okay? So I'm just going to simplify to get full marks. So 9 over negative 6, I can divide both of these numbers by 3, so it would become negative 3 over 2, okay, x to the negative 6. Here, negative 3 divided by negative 1 would give me positive 3, x to the negative 1, and then the rest stays the same. Okay, in the final question here, it's a little bit different. I am going to write it in its power form, but I'm also going to simplify the denominator, okay? So I'm just going to take the denominator down below. So x multiplied by root x is the same thing as x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of a half. Okay, remember, when you raise something to the power of a half, it's the same thing as square rooting, okay? And when you multiply these x terms together, you're adding the powers, okay? So 1 plus a half is 1 and a half, which is the same thing as x to the power of 3 over 2, okay? So that is the same thing as the denominator over here. So if I want to rewrite this in its power form, it would be finding the integral of 5x raised to the power of negative 3 over 2. Okay, so if we are finding the integral, we are adding 1 to this power. Remember, negative 3 over 2 is like negative 1 and a half. So negative 1 and a half plus 1 is negative a half. So x to the negative half. And then we're dividing this number here, 5, by the new power, which is negative a half. And then we're adding our constant c. Okay, so if we just work this out in our heads here, 5 divided by negative a half is the same thing as 5 multiplied by negative 2 over 1, which is 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So that is the answer. So when you divide 5 by negative a half, you get negative 10. So the answer is negative 10x to the negative a half plus c. So in the next question, we have to find the integral of this fraction here with respect to x. Try and simplify the question first before you integrate. 
So I'm going to start by rewriting this fraction as two separate fractions. So taking this term here, x squared, and writing it over the denominator 3x, separate to the other term, so positive 2 root x, also over 3x, okay? And what you can do here in this first step is also rewrite the square root of x in its power form. Remember, whenever you're square rooting, it's the same thing as raising to the power of a half, okay? So now we can simplify, and I'm going to start with this fraction here. If I divide x squared by 3x, I'm left with x over 3, okay? If you're not sure how I did that, just looking at the x terms here, x squared divided by x is the same thing as x squared divided by x to the 1. And remember, using the rules of indices, you always subtract the powers. So 2 take away 1 is 1, and x to the power of 1 is just the same thing as x. So I have x over 3 when I simplify, okay? Using the same idea for this one, if I'm dividing x to the power of a half by x, Remember, you're subtracting the powers, so a half take away 1 is equal to negative a half, so we're left with x to the power of negative a half, okay? So when I simplify this fraction here, we're left with 2x to the power of negative a half over 3, okay? So now that we've simplified, I'm just going to do one more thing before I integrate. I'm just going to rewrite x over 3 as a third x. I think it's helpful just to write the number in front of the x so you can see what you're dividing with later on, okay? So for the second fraction, it would be 2 thirds x to the negative half, okay? So I'm just rewriting it in a different way as I think it's easier to do the integrating part when those numbers are at the front, okay? So remember, when we're integrating, we raise the power on the x by 1 and we divide by the new power. So if we look at the first term here and we raise this power by 1, we're left with x squared. And so we're dividing a third by the new power, which is positive 2. So a third divided by 2. Then on to the next term here, if I add 1 to this power, I have positive a half. So we have x to the power of a half, and again we're dividing by the new power, so two thirds divided by a half. Not forgetting to add your constant c. Okay, so now we have to simplify. Okay, so we need to work out what a third divided by two is. So I'm just going to write it down over here. So a third divided by two is the same thing as a third multiplied by a half, okay, which is a sixth. So for the first part, we have a sixth x squared. Then for this part here, two thirds divided by a half, to work that out, it's the same thing as multiplying two thirds by two over one. Remember, whenever you're dividing fractions, you multiply and you switch the second fraction upside down. So two times two is four, and three times one is three, so we are left with four thirds. So this is equal to four thirds. And everything else stays the same. What you could do also as a last step is just take the x here out of the power form. So remember, anything raised to the power of a half is the same as square rooting. So you could write your final, final answer like that.